Natalie, what did you learn from Squirrel's New Year's resolution? That Squirrel didn't have a resolution, but people came to him to get it because they didn't have a plan for themselves. Okay, and is it okay to not have a plan for yourself? Yes, because along the way you can plan things for what you're going to do for yourself. Okay. So sometimes you ha you have to take some time and reflect and think back, right? So sometimes that helps, giving yourself a little bit of space, a little bit of time. Okay, what are my goals coming the new year? What, do I, what are some things that I want to do? So thinking back to last year, what was the best thing that happened to you? I got good grades on my midterm exams. I got to meet my cousin's baby, and I got to spend more time with my family. Okay. Think of, think of at least one hope or wish that you have for the new year. Uh, that we can get back to normal, and I wish I could see my friends again. Okay. And in order for you to have a successful year, what are some things that you plan on doing? Pass fifth grade and go to middle school and have a good year. Okay, so tell me some of your New Year's resolutions. Let's start with home. To help my grandparents, to be more proactive, um, help around the house, and help with my family. What are some of your goals for school? Uh, be more disciplined in my schoolwork to get good grades and graduate, graduate school and work hard. Tell me what are some goals for you? Pray more to be a better person, help my mom, build a relationship with God, family, and friends. 